Coding Made Easy. So what's up everybody, this is Peter aka Coding Made Easy coming to you guys with your second c -sharp tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to write our first, uh, I'm going to write our first c -sharp program. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be writing uh, some text to the console window and what the console window is is the command line window that you would see if you um, on the command line of windows uh, so that's what we're going to be writing to and writing to the console uh, is a good thing to learn first of all we'll be able to see the output of whatever we want to see and it will help us to display what we've been learning uh, what we will be learning in future tutorials and uh, don't think that once you use the console you're never going to use it again once you get more advanced you will always use it I use the console now uh, we use uh, there's always uses for the console window so learning it is not a, a task that is you're gonna a thing you're gonna throw away in the future so anyways uh, within uh, within side uh, within main uh, we are going to uh, start writing our program now one thing you'll notice is these braces so in C sharp the braces are used to encapsulate a particular uh, area of code uh, so as you can see this encapsulates this class right here and this encapsulates this main method right here and we'll learn more about methods and classes in a future tutorial uh, so now inside this main method what we're going to do is we're going to type the words console now note that when we typed in console we got all these different things that popped up here and don't worry I don't think you'll see this at the bottom this is a resharper uh, add-in now uh, this is called IntelliSense so with Visual, Visual Studio aids you in showing you the different options that you have and the reason being is that no matter how professional you are you aren't going to memorize every single keyword in a given language right uh, you know how different things work and you know what options you have and what you can do but you're not going to memorize every keyword and so the point of the IDE or the point of IntelliSense is to uh, help you help you out uh, with determining um, what options you have. Now I mentioned the word IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and it, uh, this is what Visual Studio is. So Visual Studio is an integrated development environment which comes with a with an advanced text editor with IntelliSense and other neat features and it comes with a compiler and a bunch of cool features that can help and aid in your development of your application but in all in in reality you don't need an IDE to code C sharp you could easily code it in notepad and uh, build your code or compile your code in um, in um, in, a, in, the, in the command line sorry about that uh, but with as you can see with the IDE or with uh, Visual Studio we can code a lot faster and a lot cleaner uh, with the different options that we have available um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say console dot and we're gonna do right line now we'll learn uh, what the dot operator does uh, in a future tutorial so don't really worry about that you'll learn everything that uh, uh, we'll be doing uh, right now and within this right line we're going to put two quotations and this represents a string which we'll also learn about in a future tutorial and inside here we're going to put hello world now usually the first program that people always write is hello world it's sort of a computer science tradition uh, so yeah, we're gonna put hello world and after we do that what we're gonna do is compile now compile basically takes uh, the human readable code and uh, uh, Converts it into machine uh, readable code. Uh, that's just a rough overview of uh, Compilation, but you can read more on compilation uh, later on, but basically the compilation will convert our code and then it will and then when we run our code we can run it uh, so what we're going to do to run it, we can do click start or we can click F5. So I'm going to click F5 and notice it opened and closed really quickly. Now why did that happen? Well, it displayed our message, it reached the end of the program, and then it quit. 
so it did what it was supposed to do so if we want to see our output what we're going to do is click debug and we can click start without debugging or we can click uh, control f5 uh, let's click that and we can see in the command line window we see hello world and then it says press any key to continue so if we don't want to have to click control f5 every time we can put console.read line and we'll run this and so nothing it will show our text and I'll wait until we press the enter key and once we press enter then it will close the program so there you go you've written your first C sharp program and in the next tutorial we're going to start learning about variables and variables are very powerful they are the backbone of any programming language you use uh, so hopefully you'll enjoy the next tutorial so thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and bye for now.